what's a, um, when do you find that you're most creative? Like when? Yeah, like during the day or? Um, for sure at night, late at night. Yeah, same. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's just been my rhythm for forever. Really? Yeah, and when my kids were little, I had to mm -hmm. adapt a little bit to, Yeah. Like, cause you just, your, your reasonable hours, you can do anything. Right. Are Changes. super different. Mm -hmm. But no, I, I, but I've definitely been one of those, like the spark starts at mm -hmm. like after midnight. Nice. Yeah. And then dude. I can, if, and if my wife's out of town, then mm -hmm. I'll, I'll stay up and yep. I'll work and forget to eat and forget to oh, sleep. Yes, and, dude. Yeah. Those are my good hours though. Man, I do. I feel like I share in that too. And then I'm like, you can go ahead and go Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm just kind of, cool. let's see. Vibing it out. Vibes, man. Vibes. Yeah. So you said these guys are more watery. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 And okay. they're they're cool to use. They're cool to yeah, use. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Am I gonna use a fucking brush? Maybe I'll use fucking both. <laughs> Let's see. Man. I'm trying to pick look some at these cool colors. colors are amazing. Yeah, they're cool. Heck yeah. This green. I'm a big teal fan. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. It's like Hell I yeah. like. Is this? Do these things go together? I really love, love, love mm -hmm. like hot oranges yep. and then like teals. Yeah, sure. Did those things all go together? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll yeah, see. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, man, I, uh, as far as color theory and stuff oh, like there we that, go. I, all over my hand. I've had to learn as I go. So, yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. Well, and like most stuff, it's, it's like you, you, you figure it out. Yeah, you, you, you have to actually do the thing. Yeah, <laughs> totally. That's do you learn that way? way Is that uh, like the way that you learn mostly? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Like experimentation is my favorite thing. Man, same. It's same. A, absolutely. Is it hard? Is it harder? It, it's hard for me to render something to make it a thing. Like I can yeah. explore and explore and yeah. experiment. Love that. But it's like if I try to put it into like a form, yeah. it's real tough for me. Man. Interesting. I get really like, I get well, really Well, it's like what exhausted. they say about like, you know, like art, you know, not like the, how hard it is to finish some, or like, you know, and like you're saying, like to kind of, to frame something. Yes, dude. Like into an actual. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm surprisingly mm -hmm. organized though, nice. for like a creative type. Like wow. I'm, I'm really not a super abstract, <gasps> Like type, I'm a, mm -hmm. I'm much more of a uh, <clears throat> analytical detail, rational type. No shit. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not poetic, abstract, like at all. I'm the opposite in the extreme. I'm wow. wired more like an artist manager than I'm wired like an artist. Dude, that's the. It's really you weird. Fucking nailed it. It's really like, weird. That's beautiful. It's really man. strange though. Holy and, shit. Uh, yeah. Dude, and, I, I rem let me interrupt you here. Real nah, quick. that's it. I, I. Mean, uh, I I remember listening along, well, when I was in college, so that was Cade McCall days. Like wow, I was, yeah. I was, um, um, I remember relating to what I assumed were the lyrics you were writing. I, I, I didn't know, but yeah, yeah. I was, um, and that was some of the most like, like the stories you would tell felt to me, the way I understood them felt I understood them in an abstract way because they permeated my life. Wow, dude. It was beautiful. Yeah, so, yeah. So the way that they, the way that they translate, it, man, it was just, it was so wow. real and raw. Dude. Oh, I really, I really appreciate thought, you yeah. saying so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I just always presume that if anybody resonates or relates in those ways, we just must have things in our stories that we don't know. That yeah, that's really In good. common. It just, mm -hmm. that, that's the only place that can really come from in my, in my mind. It's sure. Like, um, but anyways, that's cool. I mean, I, you know, I, uh, yeah, I, but it's, it's really true. Like I, I'm such a scientist, Incredible. like when it comes, when it comes to it, like, yeah. I'm not, I feel like I'm so like even writing lyrics is like mm -hmm. math to me. Really? It's like, I'm trying to solve equations. It's like, I'm, and all mm -hmm. of it's like, okay, I've got, I think like my mind look goes at it like that. Like mm -hmm. where it's like, I've got this many beats and this many lines and I can put this many syllables in it. Yes. And, but like, I don't know where the other thing comes from. Wow. Like it's always been, even in my kind of where I'm at now, <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and just to have said it as we venture in mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. like my thing when it comes to like spirituality mm -hmm. or stuff like that, like I'm just kind of permanently uncertain about stuff like yeah. that. Yep. And, which is to say yep. that anything that is, uh, that things that are invisible like God yep. or unknowable like the mm -hmm. future, mm -hmm. I think uncertainty is a great way to go. Yeah, yeah. And uh, which is not the enemy of faith, it's the prerequisite no. of faith. Yeah. But for me, it's like, I still have that question mark in my head of like, mm -hmm. I don't, I know I'm not wired for this. Mm -hmm. And I don't really know where it comes from. Yes. And I'm sure there's some great explanation for it, but I don't know what it is. Because I'm not wired that way. Sure, so you are wired in more of a rational 
One hundred percent frame. I got it. Linear yeah. analytical. That's tough. That that concept of God and spirituality for rational people is real tough. To yeah. me, it seems like. But then I then I meet really rational people that are like, this is the way. This is the way. This right. is the way. And I'm like, well, maybe that rationality is the reason that you think hey, this is the way. This is the way. This right. is the way. Maybe. I, I don't right. know. I get confused. Yeah, and it too. took me, and it took me some time to kind of cool. get to where I was like. Um, to, to, to grow to kind of love and get comfortable with that uncertainty thing. Oh, yeah, dude. Which I'm for sure bringing with me forever. Excellent. Like, yeah. that's my new yeah. thing. Excellent. I don't ever want to be certain of anything because yeah. invisible, How? unknowable things, like, what does that serve? It doesn't serve you well to be certain totally. about stuff like that. Yeah. It's almost, it seems pretty arrogant to me. It really to does. Be, it, does, it, does not, it does to me, too. Nobody's certain of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Speaking yeah. of which, look at that. A little dookie. Ah, oh, so you're going full hands. You're going. <laughs> well, I don't know. I might fucking tear it up. I'm gonna put big globs of paint on first. Yeah, do it, in do some it. little areas. I just need some. <laughs> I need some like. I probably should have. I could have put this just directly. I didn't need my cool. little. I just felt cool with like yeah. my little palette guy here that I've got going on. I wanted to like use it, but really what I need initially is I just need a bunch. I need some like. I need some areas. I just need some color areas. Yeah, that's great. Just to start. Very cool. Um, but as I as I've told you, mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, it, it it shouldn't have come as a surprise when I told you earlier mm -hmm. that I don't. Um, I'm not like. I've never ventured very far out of my primary creative mm -hmm. discipline, mm -hmm. which is music. Yeah. And yeah. even that, I feel like I've got the minimum viable talent. I I'm mostly, hate I'm mostly that. a really. Good, I hate that. Why do I, I hate that? I'm like Derek, dude. I, well, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly a really good songs. creative problem solver. <laughs> that's like that, cool. that's mostly what I'm good at. That's I feel like that is art though. Like like solving it, problems. It's my version for sure. Beautiful. But I mean, like I'm a problem solver. I'm mm -hmm. not. I've never been much of like a. I don't know. I don't see myself that way. Wow. Not that it really matters. As a problem solver. No, as like an artist. Oh, I see. Because it's so kind of it runs contrary to my personality. What? So what? So you know? oh, shit. do you do you believe you're an artist? I have no idea. Okay, cool. I mean, yeah. well, like I know that that awesome. I know that that's like a very big part of um, my. Uh, I mean, that's obviously for twenty five years what I've done <laughs> for my work. Like I'm already down here on the on the. Oh, that's I'm, okay. I'm, I'm that's too okay. much of a detail person to leave that little splotch <laughs> on there. Um, but it. yeah, I mean, I've made my living for twenty five years. Yes. Being creative. Mm -hmm. But. It's just so interesting as I get older. I thought when I was younger mm -hmm. that like, I was like definitely one of these creative types. Yes. But as I get older, I realize I'm really not. I'm not, I'm not like. Why does it hurt me so much? Does it? <laughs> it hurts my feelings. Let's, let's talk about that. No, it's cool. Like, That's interesting I, to me. I, I, uh, I guess it's just my own perception of my personality and my art. Like hearing, hearing that from you, like I wish I was organized and I wish I was You like, wish they were those things. Oh dude, yes. And like I mean I don't think they're mutually exclusive by any means. I don't either. I don't yeah. either. But I'm and, like, I, and I hate binary fucking categories. Yeah, same, like same. And, and I I'm def I'm definitely most of the time, most of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely one of those, you know, like I'm mm -hmm. when I was younger, mm -hmm. I really loved hard categories. Oh, and I it's loved easier, the process. Yeah, it, it yeah. is so much easier. You don't have to think. But what I've learned in my old mm -hmm. age here is <laughs> That it's just, it seems like it's just an, it's an effort to try to give a short answer to a question for which there's no short answer. Oh yeah. Oh, that's and good. And you know what yeah. I mean? Agreed. And so, yeah, so yeah. I'm, so I don't know. I don't know, like, like introvert, extrovert, like all mm -hmm. these things I've really changed my opinion on. Cool. Over the years, like in terms of like, where am I, where am I at? And, where are you at? And, and who am I when it comes to all that stuff? What do you think? I honestly have no idea. If you could take a stab at it, how do you feel as far as extroversion or introversion? Um, I think I am probably, mm -hmm. Here's what's interesting. Yes. I, I think that I've always seen myself as a reluctant extrovert. Cool. Ooh, that's a good, that's really. And like, like it's a learned skill. <clears throat> yep. Wow. And, um, but where I think I've landed over time mm -hmm. is like, in other words, I thought that my extroversion mm -hmm. was an adaptation essentially. Oh, okay. Like, I okay. adapted over time and learned to be good at extra. Got it. But I was, Got but, it. but technically I think I'm, I was always an introvert. That's what I think. Cause I recharge mostly alone. Did I relate to that? But wow. then what I've learned over time mm -hmm. is that I don't think that's actually right. I think that oh. if you, if I, as I, you know, you go through hard things and you do mm -hmm. some self, you do some reflection yes, and you yes, kind of go back yes. in your story. 
And I think that the earlier, truer version of myself mm -hmm. is that I was an extrovert. And I think my introversion was the adaptation because I didn't have a lot of friends when I was a kid. Same. Yes. I had to learn to be good at being alone. And I think I actually, that was the learned skill. And then later when I came back to extroversion, I thought that was new. But Dude. I think it's actually old. I think that's more where I'm coming from. And I've had to embrace like, oh my God, I'm an extrovert. That makes so much more sense. Dude. Because that's my energy. Beautiful, yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. So it's taken me yes. some real time to kind of sort that out. That's and, I, and I flip and flop really about insightful. it, but. Sure, But sure. that's like my. Wow. Anyways. I, I just, I feel like I just learned something about my own experience <laughs> through that. Because there, I, I feel like. I'm going big color areas and then I'm going to figure it. out what the fuck's going on Sounds after that. Great. Man, that's like. Yeah, just getting stuck in who I think I want to be yes. or who I think I should be. Right. Is real tough. And like I've I did a <clears throat> I I think my extroversion comes from a desire to be approved of. So huh. I, I had some parents that Yeah. I had some parents that um that uh well, they're, you know, like everybody's parents doing doing what they could with the consciousness that they had. The that's time. right. And um, that's definitely a mantra. <laughs> so, yeah. So I, um, I would be alone a lot and I didn't want to be alone. I wanted to have mm. friends. I want, so dude, hearing you say that is real, real. Good. Wow. Oh, it's interesting. That's and so do you see, so how, so, cause you come, mm -hmm. your energy comes off to me mm -hmm. like very extroverted. But I, but I but am. but it but it does come down mm -hmm. to how you manage energy more than right. It's yes, like yes, that's good. It's like do you do you receive energy from sometimes? Yeah, yeah. I cut you off. No, no, no. Because I think everybody has moments of both. Obviously, mm -hmm. that's where I want to be. Yeah, right there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I want to be able to switch, oscillate between both of them. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I definitely recharge being alone, but I went out to Cracker Barrel last night. Do you like Cracker Barrel at all? Oh my God, absolutely. Yeah. I'm a traveling musician. Yeah, true. It's like a little bit yes. of home. Yes, like anything that you can, any consistency you can find anywhere, yeah, dude. you will take. <laughs> Even if it's like fucking rocking chairs and, oh, and you know, meatloaf or and hour. arguably occasional low grade racism, you know, like, like <laughs> I mean, like, like, yeah, I mean, but yeah. like, it's, it's I know like what so mean. nice. It's why I drink Starbucks when I'm out of town. Thank you. Because that shit's yeah. consistent. It's predictable. Yep. Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. So what you were saying. No, was, no, 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 you that's went fine. To, yeah, that's you went fine. to Cracker Barrel. No, I, 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 Starbucks. I love it. Like, I how is your water completely clear and mine just, looks like the Mississippi River? Already. I haven't used it. Cumberland River. <laughs> the Cumberland, thank you. I actually, I grew the Greens. Yeah. I grew up oh, in Memphis. Nice. Oh, you did? I did. I didn't know that. Born in Memphis, Memphis, oh, Tennessee. Shit. And I'm That's like, maybe funny. in a minute, going on my third brush and my second okay. one of these fucking That's things. Okay. You can use mine. Like, too. you're amazing, and I'm. No. Look at you. You're already. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm. Uh, well, and that's that's what's in the same boat. That's what's good about it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right, I'm going across this way because I want some of what's over here. Yeah, dude. Oh. Oh yeah. Here uh, we go. Oh, but I went to Cracker Barrel last night with some buddies because. Oh yeah. One of my friends is. One of my friends got. Oh, dumped by his girlfriend and and um we just you know yeah dude. going to be bros for a bit absolutely and so wow I where the fuck was i going with that oh well, yeah. So, yeah being with people yes right know? and, and I, it, we're talking about energy management yeah and how you charge yeah how you recharge and all that you know i feel like when shows were around <laughs> oh boy the fuck seriously like back in the uh, day yeah i'd go to shows and I would either be fucking on, yeah, or I would be like afraid. So it was almost like my the view of myself when I would get around a group, a big group of people that were also probably feeling a lot of the same things. And the cool comes out, and everybody, yeah, it's like if I can, if I could believe in my cool that night, I'd have a good wow. time. You know what I'm saying? I do. But, but a lot of times. You know, I would I would be so loud so I wouldn't have to experience. Um, I would be in my own world, so I wouldn't yeah. even consider what people are thinking. You know what I Interesting. mean? Interesting. Well, which is why yeah. that sort of behavior can be so comforting. There you go. Ooh, that's Deeply really good. comforting. Yeah. You know, like I'm the same. I'm the same way. I knocked this. I. I, I okay. Cool. You, so you said you're you're the same way as far as like. I. Yep. Yeah. No. I. I mean, like I because I think that you can. Well, yeah, you know, like, I mean, the, mm -hmm. one of the things I think that benefits both introverts and extroverts it, it is uh, when you're out and you're in groups and you're in 
an atmosphere like that, there are just so many great places to hide should you need to. Yes. And yes. you don't ever really yes. know what's going to hit you and what you're going to need at totally. any given time. And oh, that's really good. And so, like, yeah, when I, you know, went through my divorce mm -hmm. and stuff, like, mm -hmm. I found myself unnaturally out, hmm. you know, like, kind of trying to make connection. Well, yes, even. but also just like, yeah, needing to be out in the world, but also like wanting to make sure that without being able to predict the future that I always had somewhere to hide should I need it. Yeah, dude. And so even if I was out with my friends, it was just really nice to know that I was like, you know, if I need to disappear for about 15 minutes, I absolutely can. That's good. Yeah, that's you know? cool. And so that's, you know, but I think that, I don't know, it's, God, it's so interesting. I mean, like the, how much do you think uh -huh. Uh -huh. people over time fundamentally change? Oh shit, dude. In terms of energy, in Great terms question. of... Do you understand, you know, like, um, yes, are, are, are we talking about, are we talking about conscious change or, or, or forced change? No, I mean like in, anything from conscious to add to, to like my thing, like adaptation mm -hmm. to, oh, that's good. you know, like, yeah. like any of it, like, what oh, do you man. think, it, it, <laughs> like how capable, God, how, how far can someone move from where they've started? You know what I mean? Yes. Or like, is, are, are you kind that. of bound to a range? To like your own, you're, you're, you're subject to your own like archetypal experience. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, kind of. Like what you play. I, I, you know what, I, th I think it takes, <laughs> I think it takes like hardship. And I, yeah. and, and I think it takes, yep. I don't, I don't want to put virtue in suffering by any means, but it's almost but like- But God it helps, man, doesn't if, it? <laughs> yes. You know, like it Did, really does. It, it, if you're, if you are able to open up to that, self-reflective process yeah and find out exactly yep, how right. small and big you are you know uh, it's tough like where yeah that's right like where your uh God. like where your bones come from you know yeah. like where your innards are you know it's like yeah it, 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 man I yeah just, I, I totally agree and and we were you know we were chatting a, mm -hmm. a, a little bit earlier about mm -hmm. this too and i totally um i totally agree that like it there really is something um so we were we were talking about some friends and mutual friends and, mm -hmm. and like, there's really something I treasure in people. Mm -hmm. um, complexity is something yeah, I really I treasure and people yeah. who are willing to be vulnerable with complexity. Oh, that's and yes. because, Very cool. and I've always said that like, cause some people are like really resistant and like socially don't want to deal with people who are like, Oh, complex. And, and ironically, huh. like, you know, I come from the evangelical Christian tradition yep. Yep. where Jesus apparently was really good at complex people. That, he was yes, really, dude. really super good at loving complex people. Yes. If anything, his reputation was ruined and his religion founded on how well he loved complex people. And, wow. and yet the church is the hallmark, one of the hallmarks <laughs> of the church is how poorly they right. seem to and how love and how, how the complex people seem to be at the business end of their judgment constantly. And, mm. and yet that's something I just treasure about people because yeah. it's in failure. Like failure is the most important thing you're doing all the time. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. that is, because Ooh, that's, that's where you learn everything. Yeah. You learn everything oh, in wow. failure. Yeah, that's I good. mean, and it's yeah. good that we're like making art right now because uh -huh. it's like a safe place. It's a sandbox for failure. There you go. Because you can always paint over it. You know, uh, like you can always just keep, keep going. Yes. But like, it's just interesting to me that like, my favorite people are the ones who have failed the most because they're the ones who've learned the most and so they're, one, they're the ones who know the most. And, they, and to keep going. That's right. To keep going. Yeah. And that's where you learn and you adapt and you, because yeah, you think about like failure and success, you think about like mm -hmm. people who, when you succeed, mm -hmm. you don't typically notice or you heap more pressure on yourself to succeed more. Yeah. But you don't really, you don't really, I mean, no, that's per, that's the perfect metaphor for the yeah. failure thing we're talking about. Um, Four dollar goddamn. No, but, well, kidding. that's exactly right. Like, I'm just kidding. Go ahead, Derek. You spilled ahead, all my expensive water. Um, but no, it's, it's really true that like, you know, failure mm -hmm. is where you, oh, this is my favorite color. What you oh got? my God. Ooh, there it is. Bring it on. This is my Bring favorite on. color. Go ahead. Listen to you. Um, but, uh, but that's where you, like when you succeed, mm -hmm. you know, like you, you, you just keep going, you put the accelerator down harder. Yeah. But when you fail, you your, pump your the brakes. I don't know what the fuck, they're, they're but you, great, dude. but you going. pump the brakes yep. and you pull over and you're like, what happened back there? Right. And you take stock and you, you take some, you do, you audit, yep. and, and you, and, but you don't do you that. When, when yeah. you're succeeding, you don't do that. It at least gives you the opportunity to do it, to yes. stop and to learn yes. and yes. to figure out like what the fuck happened Oof. back there. Man. And um, yeah, so I really love cool. people 
who have really been through hard, complicated stuff and who have hmm. failed a lot. And like, I just, mm. it's mm. like one of my favorite things. Um, Cause I learned everything in my, I didn't really feel like I even began to figure out anything about who I was till I really hit a serious patch of failure. Got it. What age do you feel like that was? Oh, it was in my late thirties. Got it. Yeah, totally. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a, you know, I mean, sure. I had the curse of an easy life Being for the, the majority of my, once I, once I found music yep. and I figured myself out a little bit late mm -hmm. high school, mm -hmm. it was a hard early life. I was good at nothing, nothing that was being measured at least during that wow. season of life. But then once I kind of got out of high school and stuff, like I had a pretty great run. That's like when I sure. met the Cademans people mm -hmm. and we kind of started that deal and that came really easy to us, that mm -hmm. whole thing. And, and then, um, but then over time, I think I just got really, like it took me way too long to get really grateful. Oh, cool. Oh, for, that's for good. Anything. Wow. And I'm kind of learned that, but boy, yeah. I'm unshakably grateful now. Cool, man. Cool. Because I didn't have, oh, I man, didn't have the context. Awesome. I didn't have the, yeah. the, uh, the, we were talking earlier about mm -hmm. like, sometimes when you, when you, when you've got a lot of things that are, that are small, they seem large when there's nothing in proportion to compare yeah. them to, but yeah. then a big thing like, like children yeah. we were talking about, yes. we're both dads. Yeah. You put a big thing in and it makes everything else shrink. You know, that's how really small those things oh, are in proportion man. to something big. Yeah, dude, yeah. And like, that's what great things like kids can do. That's yep. what bad things like failure can Absolutely. do. Absolutely. And then you get- Tragedy. Tragedy and yeah. you get some perspective. And mm -hmm. so like I've, you know, I'm grateful to have for the second half of my life going into it right around mm -hmm. 40 with a lot of really good perspective. It puts yeah. some things into some perspective. Huge. And Huge. now, like remarried mm -hmm. and kind of new seasons in my career, mm -hmm. like definitely new seasons of belief or non-belief. Yeah, yeah, fine. And I I I'm bringing all this gratefulness and perspective yeah. in with me. Cool. And I'm appreciating it in ways mm -hmm. that I never did before. Oh. And, it, and it's actually, what's interesting about that is it's not the failure mm -hmm. of my previous perspective. There you go. Or my previous seasons or characters in my story. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not any of the fault of any of those things. It was, you know, and so like, I would never want to put any blame on the church or sure, friends yeah. that left or easy to do or whatever, whatever yeah. it might be. For me, it's like, nah, man, I just didn't have any perspective on any of it. Yeah. And I'm so grateful for it now. Oh man. You know, that's super that's deeply grateful. Beautiful to hear. Yeah. It's almost like <clears throat> you'd hope God, well, God, and when I say God, I mean, I, 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 Dude, I think we're all manifestations of God experiencing God at the same time. Mm. That's how I feel about it. That now, sounds cool. I'm def I'm about. into that. And so, you know, I was in the church mm. as well, and I became bad. You know, huh. like, like the things I did, especially like Tourette syndrome and, and 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 seeming out of control because Tourette's reaches into the detestable things. It just does. Mm, like like you have an outburst of something racist or you have an outburst yeah. of a socially quote unquote inappropriate thing or you touch something or you, yep. you I, I had a thing where I was like, I would lick, I would touch my tongue to public urinals on the inside. Wow. So okay. that's like in, in trying to resist that. Right. And gosh, that's fascinating. Like what you're saying so that it, it, that it's a thing that really hmm. oh wow look oh shit it's coming out the side nice nice oh yeah, yeah. um but the, there we go you okay. want more nope okay that's got to be enough surely nice. <laughs> but it's just so interesting that it's a thing like you said that tends towards those 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 negative things i mean like it, it pull mm -hmm. it's like it's like a it's almost it's, grim it's it's magnetic and yeah. it's com it's compulsive Absolutely. like it's, it's pulling you towards mm -hmm. things you might wish to avoid and cannot resist yep i think it's a look at death I think yeah. is it a, I think it is a real look at mortality and death. Yeah. And wow. And it is to me it's it's born out of a um, out of a a, a, a a suffocation and not being able to say how I feel growing up. So the so the words and the feelings wow, get buried man. and manifest in physical ways. So wow. That's, so that's, as I start talking about Tourette yeah. syndrome, the ticks go away. It's isn't almost, that it's fascinating? Beautiful. Yeah. So like And isn't that a a fascinating metaphor <laughs> for like and in I, the church you don't talk about it. Well, and and I was and I, it's interesting I was I caught myself about to say the word demons. Oh, 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 we can go there. Let's do and, that. And and yeah. but that's an okay and, and I guess maybe I even mean in a in a metaphorical way but mm -hmm. like 
it's like, but what do they always say? It's like th that the more, if you, if you turn the light on in the room, mm -hmm. then the, the things that wish to hide tend to scatter. Yes, dude. They want. And so what is it about owning up and saying and like articulating and putting language to something? And that's really honestly like, totally. not to toot our horns as creatives or something, mm -hmm. but there really is something about the power of language mm -hmm. and words and metaphor and like the ability to, that's why there's something about music and I know the music mm -hmm. that I love mm -hmm. um, is that there's something about um, the way it gives language to things for which you did not previously have language. Love it. And how yes. deeply comforting that is to mm -hmm. find the words you've been looking for mm -hmm. to, to sum up or articulate a thing and when you can provide that for somebody or when something that you make, they see oh, yeah. and they're like, okay, something about that is that's what I'm talking about yeah, or that's totally. what I've been talking about and I see it mm -hmm. and I couldn't get it out like on there, but mm -hmm. you've, it's out. So that means you and I must have some resonance yes. between us. And that's yep. what we were talking about earlier with like people who like, like the songs you mm -hmm. write, mm -hmm. really what that means is, oh, we must be on some wavelength. There must be some resonance between us. It doesn't mean it's good. Doesn't in some bad. place, yeah, totally. Um, yeah. It was just, it's fascinating. And I think it just That's speaks God to the power to of art. Yeah. Because it does, it gives us mm -hmm. a safe place to go and get those things out and allow other people to see things they've wished to say or display. Yep. And they don't know how they connect to it. And they don't. And you, and you don't either as the yeah. person. Yeah, oh, that's really good. That's and that's really the good. other thing is I finally, it's like, what do you say? <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you say? It's like, and so my main thing is like, I just want to sit down and talk to somebody. If, if somebody yeah. says, hey, that thanks, that one song really, I'm like, tell me about I it. I immediately <laughs> want to sit down and hear your whole story. Because yes. I bet we'll find our way to it. I love that. You know, Dude, whatever it it's is. It's really good. Yeah. I, it, I didn't know you could pop this mug in 4K. What do you know about Jerry's Art of in East Nashville? Boom, dude. Um, they got all your art need stuff. All the supplies. They got uh, custom framing that is sweet. Um, I'm getting a, actually four pieces framed right now. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they're over there on Main Street in East Nashville. And they're ready for you to come in there and uh, raise a ruckus. It's really good. Anyway. It, it's, it's and a lot, of, a lot of people... I think people shy away from doing that a lot of times because I know I do because I'm like, yo, I used to just want to talk about everything with every single kid when I played in a band that would come to the show. Interesting, yeah. It was part of me, you know, and like, but, but it's exhaustive. And yeah, and I, I recognize the, the neediness in myself and mm. others when I want to try to tell an artist how much their work means to me. Because when people huh. do that to me, I, I don't get it. Like, I, I, don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a lack of empathy, but I'm like, I, can, I cannot experience this like you are. Huh. You know what I'm saying? I, I and, do. And like, I'm not gonna be able to fully understand how you feel. Well, some artists have a really hard time knowing what to do with it. Say it like, again. Like, some Say artists again. have a really hard time knowing what yes. to do. Yes, what do you do with it? Like how to receive it? it. Yeah, you know? like a, receiving a compliment is fucking tough. Well, man. and yeah, and I think I, again, like my instinct over the years mm -hmm. has been to immediately, like I, like I know, I know for a fact that I, like when I make songs and I record music and mm -hmm. I write, Ooh. I can tell you Ooh. Ooh. that it's like among the more selfish things that I do. Sure. I'm not Fuck doing yeah. it to help anybody. I'm, yes. I'm not. I, I'm, yep. I'm mostly, if it's good and it's instinctive for me, Love it. then it's me trying to, trying to work my way out of a complex emotional situation. Yes, dude. Yes. And so, mm -hmm. so knowing that that's the case, that mm -hmm. I don't have mm -hmm. some strange impulse of knowing what people need and are feeling and, mm -hmm. and, and I don't have my finger on something. When somebody comes up and thanks you, it's like, I know for a fact that I did not, it's a weird thing to reply, but I would always say, well, like, I, I know for sure that I was, that I, we didn't know each other mm -hmm. and I didn't do it for that reason. I did oh, it for key. me. Yes. And so. You say that? Yes. Oh, I love that. And so that. typically what I'll say is like, thank you for allowing the space to put some of your own emotional real estate into this little room I've constructed, but that's yours. Oh, like, beautiful. Dude. Like you've done it yes. and it's, and it's brave to be willing to externalize those things into something like music. Yeah. And so, again, I want to hear your story, cool. but I know it's not about me because how could it possibly be? Yep. I don't know you. I don't know your story. <laughs> I couldn't have, I could have made this me. for you. Maybe I'm trying to make it about me as the artist. 
like, oh, oh, I can't hear it because and what, it's and, all about me. And isn't that you know? interesting? Because oh, that's beautiful. the only thing, only reason you'd have to deflect is if you felt self-conscious about turning that into some kind of arrogant energy. Yes, dude. Like, but it's like, if you realize like, oh, not only is it not about me, but it couldn't possibly be because I don't know them. Yes. I don't know their story. Totally. I could not have made it specifically for them. Yeah. But so, so, here, so here's, so I've got a theory. Oh, that's great. Here's let's my theory. Hear it. Yes, my, my, my theory it, is, I have lots of theories. I'm a, I'm a loud man. Same, same, but dude. But my theory <laughs> um, is <laughs> that I, I'm not sure. Hmm? And again, it's just a hypothesis. Yep. Um, I'm not sure that there is fixed meaning. Mm -hmm. uh, well, fixed meaning. I'm not sure there's fixed meaning in anything. Okay. Um, I think that all meaning, potentially, is uh, assigned. Okay. Um, and that even as the artist, I am assigning meaning okay. to it. Mm -hmm. And the meaning that you assign to it mm -hmm. could be just as accurate just as real just as just as true in a in a lowercase sense of that mm -hmm. word but like i'm not sure that because even as i interact with the things that i have made over time mm -hmm. they don't mean the same thing obviously i'm assigning yes. new yes. meaning over time so like i'm just i don't know I'm, I'm and so if that's true then the meaning that someone else assigns to something i've made could be its true meaning or it could be its highest best meaning i don't really know mm -hmm. but what i'm saying is as the, as the artist i don't think there's anything special or unique about the meaning that i assigned to it when i made it beautiful it means something to me yep. it means something else to you yep. both are 100 percent valid yep. and i don't think there's an objective fixed correct meaning to stuff i, I love that maybe so, so what you're saying to what i'm getting from what you're saying is yeah. that fixed meaning is something that um doesn't necessarily start someone on connecting with something. So like it right. doesn't necessarily, like it, it means this. We insert the meaning. I think all meaning is a sign. Okay, I, I, think I, I think I split in the road there. Yeah. I think suffering is something that is undeniable in meaning. So my question yes. is. Oh, it definitely has meaning, but what yep. its meaning is, isn't fixed. Me, me, okay, like tell me more means. about that. Well, so like if, you know, like, so there are, there are things, I think everything is meaningful, everything. Mm -hmm. But I think it, it doesn't always mean the same thing. And it doesn't okay. always mean the same thing even to the same person. Yep. And I just think there's a lot of people especially, and I will mm -hmm. own mm -hmm. my projection sure, sure, sure. of the fact that Beautiful. I grew up and came out of mm -hmm. you know, the evangelical Christian kind of tradition mm -hmm. where there's a real bristling to the idea, like meaning is fixed and objective. Mm. And like, here's what, for instance, Here's what the Bible means when it says oh, wow. this. Yep. And here's what a song means when an artist sings it. And here's mm -hmm. what a painting means. And here's what mm -hmm. it's about. Maybe, and it's I'm like, think, maybe I'm saying what it's born out of. Do you, like, oh, like, yes. Like the, 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 the state of suffering. And with that comes so much meaning. Maybe that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Oh, I'm into that. You know, like, yeah, like, I'm down with that. Because yeah. I, I don't... To the degree that someone experiences suffering versus another is subjective too. I mean, you could even say like, oh, this, why is this sketchy to say? It's 2021, okay. Do it. Like even the Holocaust yes. is in, obviously a, a malevolent tragedy. Yes. So depending on the personality makeup and genetic makeup of said person, someone in the Holocaust, and I am just spitballing. Yeah, here. but somebody who went through something yes. traumatic and devastating. Right. It, it, may not even, it, this is real tough to work out, it may not affect them to the degree that someone nowadays would feel yes. the effect of so much lack and yeah. so much like like um, oppression. Yeah. Like, like someone nowadays may be so sensitive to something, whereas these people over here had to live with that so they became a little more yes. a little more armored to that. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. So like the perception of that suffering. And see where but we all know suffering though, you know? It's crazy. Yes. It's crazy. Yes. Yep. Yep. No, I I'm I'm with you. And I'm and so I think what you know like what where where it goes for me is like um oh have I I haven't used that. Look at that. Um I'm trying to get as many rando colors on yeah, this thing. And then dude, and then I've got a dude, I'm, I'm telling myself it. I have a master plan at cool. the end. Dude, I um, love it. But uh, That's real cool. But yeah, I, I'm I'm with you, and I think that if anything, mm -hmm. how that feels to me is um, that th th 
as a result, because of all the subjectivity of someone's experiences and mm -hmm. personality mm -hmm. and, and, and upbringing and everything, you, you do wind up with, uh, like, I think, I mean, I, I just feel like subjectivity mm -hmm. was such an awful postmodern idea that was that that, that yeah, so unavoidable. many people where I grew up were so resistant oh, to. I was scared of it. I, I was I used to be one of them. Yeah, but I actually think that's the opposite's true. I think that mm -hmm. like, and I guess that's what I'm trying to say is like when you describe all those different people, like there's some people who actually went through the hard thing. Mm -hmm. They have mm -hmm. a di different capacity and therefore measure. Mm -hmm. And like we we're back to the other thing before, like the big the big thing in their room is so much bigger ah, than the biggest yeah. thing in the other person's room. Right, right, right. The proportions are all blown out of sure. Yep. You know, and, and so it's like when we, and and. It's, and and now to the positive, like mm -hmm. when you have children, mm -hmm. listening, the positive thing, the big good thing is so good, it takes a lot more to rattle you. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like, you know really what, good. this really isn't that big a yes, deal. Yes, dude. Um, you know, you don't have so much really bandwidth good. to kind of right. give everything. Right. And so like, that's part of what I mean is like, the meaning that someone uh -huh. might assign to something you make or I mm -hmm. make, mm -hmm. um, it, feels like it would have it has to be subjective it would have to be yeah, yeah and i think yeah. the, the main point that i mean? where i go the reason this is important line mm -hmm. of uh line of uh, conversation for me personally yeah. is because um is because i i think it's just really important that i i know that uh that my take on it is not the end all be all correct that like art I think is more beautiful when it's subjective. Yeah, that's because good. because what I've learned over time is, like, I'm not the guy who wrote my early songs. I'm not not by a long cool. shot. Cool, got it. I got think it. anybody who agrees with mm -hmm. and believes 100 percent of what they did five, 10, 20 years ago no, is a person coming into no new information, <laughs> untrustworthy, unhealthy, and and therefore and yet so the Bill job of dead a, now. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and so, wanna... but arguably the uh -huh. job of an artist mm -hmm. is to look at the world and describe it. And Tell evolve. us what you see. Yep. That's right. Yes. But when you stand in the same place as a different person to describe the same thing, you're not going to describe it the same way. You might not even think it's remarkable to mm -hmm. even describe in the first place. Mm -hmm. And so it's Can like, you access that part of yourself that looked at your former self and had have connection yes. to it yes. thinking it's remarkable? 100%. I think that's key. I think and that's and a that point. is how I have navigated my whole career. Cool. And especially having mm -hmm. written... 15 years of songs from an evangelical Christian perspective, oh, yeah, right. and now being a permanently uncertain person when yep. it comes to invisible and noble things, mm -hmm. it's like all I can do is say, well, I may not be the person who wrote these songs. Yep. Um, the, the person who did, mm -hmm. I trust him. I trust uh, that when he looked at the world and tried to describe it for us, st standing where he stood, knowing what he knew, doing the best he, he could. did the best, most, yeah. on, most yeah. honest, vulnerable job that he could, and I will therefore cover his material. But that's what I'm doing. I'm covering another man's material. I'm not playing my songs. Yeah. But Picasso, that's true of the songs I wrote two years ago. Picasso said his best painting is his next one. Yeah. I thought and, that was pretty fucking yeah, because sweet. If, because if you think about it, like yeah. essentially it's, it's, it's snapshots. Yes, I mean like, so, so when you take snapshots, mm -hmm. you kind of fix their meaning in time and then you keep moving, but the snapshots stay still. Mm, and mm, so mm. they're true, but they're not true for you anymore. I see. I see what you mean. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. And so it allows for people to find them at whatever moment mm. they're in. Mm -hmm. And if, even if you go back to revisit them, you, I'm just pulling that snapshot up and showing it to you. But that, I'm not the person who took yeah, uh, cool. that picture. Yep. But I can get I can We can talk about it and totally. I can we can look at it. Yes, but dude. that's not wow, who I that's am. Really good. Anyways, it's just interesting to me. And where else but in art can we talk like this <sighs> and explore this? You know, like increasingly, as modern men and women, I we hope. are. You know, it's I don't know. There's like a lot of uh, mm -hmm. uh, there's not a lot of places where adults can go. Yeah, that's really and, good. And get in. There's not a lot yeah. of sandboxes for yeah. adults to get therapy. in therapy. Therapy is yep. one, and, yep. and art, it's no wonder art is usually such Straight a big up. part of therapy. Yep, I used to scoff at that. Is that right? Yeah. I, I really did, especially visual art before I started painting, and then even <laughs> way less when I started encountering the scrub that I am sometimes inside. Interesting. When I, when I really started to dig into my work, like, it's such a mind job being an artist. <laughs> right, I can't, that's you know what I mean? you said before you started painting, yep. I can't yeah. imagine 
Oh, wow. You before you started painting. Yeah. And we haven't known each other that long. Yeah, right. And I yeah. can't imagine you. Dude, I don't. How did you start? Uh, I was 37. And, what? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. I was stoked. I, I'm, that I'm, blows my mind. Thanks, Derek. Thank you. That, that means a lot to me. You I, clearly found something yes. intensely yes. meaningful. Oh, yeah. Oh, it would be yeah. like suddenly realizing you have, that thinking you had a left arm only. <laughs> And then realizing that there's a whole other arm on the yes. other side. That's a great analogy, yeah. I mean, God. wow, bro, that blows my oh, mind, man. actually. That's, that's good to hear. I, um, dude, I hope everyone is afforded the opportunity to actually look at themselves and they become conscious of the opportunity coming up because they happen all the time. Even yeah. While you're driving down the road. Like, I'm real big into spirit animals, swear to God. Whoa, I love it. I love that's fox. cool. I really right. do. Like, like, because any meaning that is assigned to an animal is a archetypal personality truism to me. Yeah, so, yeah. So anytime I see, or a synchronicity for that matter, and we yeah. all know when we experience synchronicities, you know? Well, yeah. maybe not all of us, but it's like, I, I try to pay attention to those things. And some, Interesting. And sometimes I'm just like, oh, is that a synchronicity? Oh, it's yeah. not a fucking hawk. Yeah, oh my yeah, God, yeah. it's not an ant. You know what I'm saying? Dude, and you know what's funny yeah. is even though I was saying before that like I'm like the least art, you know, creative type yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of, of a person who's made a living at it for several decades, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm a, a hyper-analytical rational person, yep. Yep. and yet I maniacally scan for coordinates. Fuck yeah, dude. Maniacally. Like I am looking Beautiful. for direction, coordinates. Yeah, totally. Like, totally. And, and I don't know I if, if, if they are inherently meaningful or if mm -hmm. I'm assigning meaning, and mm -hmm. I don't think it matters. Who gives a shit? It right, doesn't right, matter. Right, right. Because what do they say? We're more defined by the choices we're making. Yeah. So it's like, what, so, but, so let's just say that's the coordinates. That's your belief. Your that's choices. right. Let's just say it's the tough. coordinates are divine. Let's say that, yeah. they're, that they're objectively, something's happening. Yep. It's still, mm -hmm. Uh, who you are is still how you respond or if you respond to those coordinates, not whether you believe the coordinates yes, dude, are yes. divine. Agreed, yes. Right? I agree. Because if they're not divine but you respond in a way that's meaningful, you just assigned it. If they are divine and you didn't respond in a way, then you missed it. Yeah, So totally. the point is maybe that doesn't matter as much as we think. Yeah. Maybe dude, it, and, really and which goes back to something you were saying earlier, uh -huh. Uh -huh. maybe it really is more about who we are and what we're reflecting and, mm -hmm. and radiating Ooh, that's than good. it is about what's external. Maybe it is yep. more about like what we're bringing to I our circumstances I think so. than I think the circumstances so. themselves. That's yeah. gotta be true, yeah. right? So I think so, I because how, how do people, how do people like, like make choices that are damn near miracles? Like how, right. how, how are you in a, a, a situation that is so dire and it is so instinctual, yeah. Yeah. like making art and the choices we make making yeah. art? Yeah. that it becomes almost a miracle that it connects to millions of people at the same time. Yeah. That blows my fucking yeah. gourd. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. It's crazy to me, man. Ooh. I'm with you. And all right, I'm going to do some yeah, something do it, do it. really, really strange now. I, as far as painting is concerned, I, I um, um, got a strange moved out to Columbia um, because I, I was trying to do this, this brain therapy to, to help Tourette syndrome. Yeah, right, um, right, right. So moved out in the middle of nowhere. Um, on 14 acres, didn't know anybody in Columbia. Now I know Luke in Columbia and a bunch of other people. Um, I was alone all the time because the ticks were to the point where I couldn't drive. I could, man, I, I couldn't even hold a knife. I'd jam it into my eye. Like it was wow. intense, dude. Wow, wow, wow. So that was, to me, God affording me the opportunity to really look at my fucking life. Wow. And I started writing more. I got off medication. I started, I, my creativity started to open up. It was so, I started taking things apart because I had nothing to distract me. Wow, dude. That's no cell phone, no computer, nothing. Invaluable. Right. Yeah. Thank you. God. You know what That's I mean? Incredible. Yeah. So I was like, so I just did that. And, um, and then we moved back up to um, Nashville. And I had I didn't really have direction, and I experienced times of no direction still for sure. But it's like, so I was at my friend's screen printing shop, and I remember a couple weeks beforehand working at Whole Foods in Franklin, looking over to my left and seeing, you know, sport guy and hot chick and yoga pants and all the archetypes. Yeah, yeah dude, right. And then Christian dude and like sure, sure. just judging the fuck out of him. Sure, yeah. judging myself. So yeah, yeah. So I just, I saw like a big strip 
big thick strip of red paint on a dark gray background. I'm like, man, I can make that shit. And and it but it was it was a piece of art. It was like something. No, no, was, it was in my head. Oh, and I was like, oh, oh, I, I, wow, I, okay. I don't think along those lines, you know. So then I went to my friend Adam's house, and I was like, dude, I. I kind of want to take that ink and paint with it. He goes, dude, I got a bunch of paint back here. And that was the day. Wow. It was crazy. And the next day oh I woke God. up, I felt like I, I, it was food for me to paint. Wow. It was so cool. Like I was like, oh, some shit's unlocking here, man. That blows my I mind. Thanks. And how did you, mm -hmm. how did you, um, did you, had you had, I mean, again, so here comes mm -hmm. my analytical detail. Yeah, right. I, I have so many questions. Come on. Like, did you have a capacity and a, a curiosity about abstract art, and not that painting has to be abstract. No, dude. But did you no. have that going in? No, no, I didn't give a shit about art. Maybe graphic design, oh, cool record cover. But, because to go yeah. from just a handful of years ago yeah. Yeah. to here, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. just what you've made today, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how, like what a brain transformation. Yes, for sure. It yeah. would, like you clearly found and tapped into something, For sure. yeah. something really meaningful. Yeah. Because, I don't know, I mean, because for me, like I, like I had a, uh, can it's I like use my, some of your water? Absolutely, it's like my soul needed it. Well, right, it's like, but, but, and it was primed ready for it. <laughs> right. Because you immediately went, took the ball and started running with it. Straight up, yeah, you know, blew like, my mind. And I, Thank and, you and it requires mm -hmm. a, a pretty remarkable measure of like, bravery oh, yeah. to allow yeah. yourself even to try it and to stumble upon something really meaningful to you yes. in doing it. Yep. Yep. And most people, I think, especially people who get into creativity mm -hmm. late stage or as adults, yeah. it's like it's hard to dig that tunnel back to where you were as a kid where oh, everything yes. was safe. Right. And you and you were in the literal sandbox. Yes, dude. And so and so because you're too self conscious now, mm -hmm. and you're too over analytical, and you're too practical, and mm. you're too whatever. Just but just from being an adult, I don't care about your personality. Yeah, yeah, totally get it. And yep. but it's like to somehow go back and tap back into something that allowed you to find some weird stretch of bravery to try something so mm -hmm. strange for what you've been doing up to that point. <laughs> Straight up, dude. It's a remarkable story. And I, pursue it. What the yeah and and to have recognition mm -hmm. at it and mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. some relative success yep. at it which yep. you absolutely yep. have it yep. that blows my mind like I I uh, man it's, it's remarkable to me. <laughs> thanks dude oh, yeah. how much you know, person changed like what, what you were asking at the beginning you know how, how much can you change over time yeah, well dude, and boy dude, I guess there's really my good. answer well you know? let me let me expand on that like I remember I remember drawing my Nike shoes I remember drawing this Smashing Pumpkins heart over and over yeah, and over. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And so, like, like, but I never got. I was not. I was not. I wasn't really encouraged to do that. So mm. you know, and I just made an R. I, I, like, I that was funny. Whoa! Shows up, shit shows up in here. But um, so yeah, and, and then it, when it opened up, it's like, what the fuck, man? Thank you. You know? Wow, dude. I mean, when, dude, tell me about when, like. You did you know that you wanted to be a musician the your whole life? Yep. Awesome. When did that hit first? What? When I, when I was like, well, Shit. so mm -hmm. when I was young, mm -hmm. I was awful at mm -hmm. every. As I mentioned before, I was awful at everything that was being measured. So I was I was awkward in uh, socially. Yep. I was short on coordinated oh, wow. sports. Got it. Um, terrible in school, uh -huh. couldn't apply myself. I was wow. terrible at everything that, that was being measured at that time. Mm -hmm. And then probably around six or seven years old, mm -hmm. I found my mom's old guitar in her closet. Oh God, that's like a fucking, I know. That's like a, like a hero story well, to me. And no. I, and, yeah, I mean, it's true though. I and so it, it was just there. And I, and I found it in the closet and I didn't know how to, she didn't know how to tune it either. So I tuned it to a chord like Dolly yeah. Parton does yeah. and just started you know, kind of playing with it and, sure. and found that I really had a knack for it. Love it. And really, uh, you know, and so I'm, mm. I'm using almost every brush you have. Yeah, do your thing. I'm literally using thing. almost every brush. I, I want you to. It's um, so I just keep needing uh, more clean ones. Yep, yep, but, yep, um, yep, yep. And so, uh, and it was just surprisingly mm -hmm. just, oh, there you go. I didn't know if, I, if no it was problem. okay to leave them in no there. No problem at all, no problem. 
Um, Go ahead. But, listen, uh, listening. So and and I it just came really easily and really naturally, and I really mm -hmm. enjoyed it. And I think that's kind of the, you know, potentially the you know like a not a terrible definition for something like calling. Like yeah, it's there like you go. Yep. When you find both both interest, opportunity, you know, and joy. Yes. Wow, that's great. Um, you know, like yeah. so proficiency, mm -hmm. opportunity, and joy mm -hmm. is kind of the intersection of kind of calling maybe. Responsibility? I think that can come with it. Okay, cool. I think that can come with it. Just what, Yeah, no, it's great. I love it. it. That's cool. And so... Um, Dude, let me say this. It's interesting that the guitar would show itself in a place that is generally dark. Yeah, in my mom's closet. Like, you know, like, like that's, a, that's a metaphor of like the psychological shadow that Carl Jung talks about. Like it's, it's the mm. place you wouldn't normally look. And then you find your the thing that lights your life up in there. God, right. I love that. Well, and so I found, yeah, so I found, Beautiful. you know, this thing mm -hmm. and I started, mm -hmm. and I, it just came so easy to me. And it was such a relief. Like, yeah. oh my God. I Found something. I found something I Excuse really me. enjoy and yes. I'm good at and and I'm able to do. And oh. so I latched onto that to the detriment of everything else in my life, sure. unfortunately. <laughs> Surely. So that's when I completely checked out of any kind of school or any, I mean, I, I just, so that's why I literally almost failed out of high school. Wow. Didn't even think about going to college. I mean, yep. everything, but also kept me out of trouble. Yeah, that's it good. It kept me, I had like an experience like early high school with like my band I was in, like playing at some party where there mm -hmm. was alcohol and yeah. I was like, yeah, okay, cool. And so had like a, basically a hang hangover huh? in a bottle. I mean, it was like a wine cooler. Yeah. But I had it. Zima. And yeah. it's probably, and, uh, <laughs> And it made me play like shit. Ah! And I immediately was like, you know what? Not doing Anything this. that makes this better is coming with me. Anything that makes that makes this difficult is I'm I'm, I'm boxing out. Oh! And man. and I'm so I've thought about this. I'm really grateful. That's beautiful. That is the, that's <laughs> true. That is true. Well, and, and so I, and so oh I'm really God. grateful that I did not have one of those Steve Jobs, Jimi Hendrix experiences yep. where somebody gave me acid. And, and it blew the roof off and suddenly I was a genius because uh, I'd be a drug addict today. Sure, sure, um, sure. But so it, yep. the point is it kept me out of trouble. Great. In a, you know, I'm like, I'm a, I'm, Are you? I'm a contrarian. So okay, it's like I could have gotten into yeah. a lot of, and yeah, I did yeah. get into a lot of trouble, <laughs> but I mostly stayed out because again, if it served, I just, I feel like I'd found this thing. It was yeah. precious yes. to me. Yes. And so I didn't want to in any way lose or compromise it. Mm -hmm. So I followed it like uh, laser, low, laser focus. Yep. And I knew that's what I was going to do. Beautiful. And damned if I'm doing it, doing it. I mean, you know, and, and so I could just, but, but I had this great gift of having known that pretty early oh, and man. though, what a blessing, not being good at much. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm not hardly good at anything. Dude. I'm only good at a couple of things, sure. but the few things I'm good at, Damn good I am at. super fucking yeah. good at. <laughs> fucking and I know that. exactly what they are. Yeah. And I'm not self-conscious yeah. about cool. those things. Cool. What are the other things you're good at? Um, I'm a really good problem solver. Cool. cool. I, I, and, and that has served me in my adult life as being uh -huh. kind of a, an entrepreneur a little yep. bit. Like yep. I, yep. I'm good at like seeing, and solving problems and then having enough analytical sense to know how to maybe scale and create a, a scalable solution to a problem. So like in my music career, mm -hmm. you know, a handful of years ago, mm -hmm. I um, started a company called Noise Trade and we gave oh, away- Oh, that was you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, excellent, dude. Yeah, so, and we gave what away a fuck? ton of free music yes. and helped a bunch of artists build their careers uh -huh. um, and connect with audiences and own their audiences and yep. things like that. Sorry. And so I, but that came from me looking for something I couldn't find, yes. realizing I needed something that didn't exist, trying oh, it, wow. figuring out how to solve it, and then bringing that solution to market. So I realized very late in life oh. that, oh God, I, I'm wired like an entrepreneur. Like Beautiful. I, you know, and so, and so I, that's what wow. I spend most of my time doing is music and entrepreneurial type work, Dude. you know, and like exploring, looking for, solu looking for problems, yep. generating solutions, and then Amplifying and scaling solutions to those problems. So I like I do a lot of consulting. I do like yep. all kinds of things, but I love problem solving. It's my Beautiful. favorite thing. Cool. You know, like consulting with friends. I love seeing mm -hmm. with a friend who's mm -hmm. trapped in a cycle oh, of logic yeah. and has yeah. no idea what to do next. Yep. Oh my gosh, my favorite thing. Yeah. Like sit, like let's sit down, run the whole thing down for me, and yep. I'll give you ten insane ideas to disrupt your way out. Ah, I love it. Yeah. And it's my favorite thing to do. Beautiful. And so it's like, yeah, but it's cool to watch the lights turn on. You know, right. like like yeah. like something unlocks in them, and you can share in that with them. Yeah, that's cool. It's man. like my one of my. It's anyway. Beautiful. So the point Beautiful. is, uh -huh. I've had I've got friends who are incredible, uh -huh. way way more talented uh, mm -hmm. than I am in mm -hmm. music and other things. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. they also they have this weird mixed curse of being good at a lot of things. Oh yeah. And oh, so fuck. when something like music, because mm -hmm. you know a career in the arts is fuck. is complicated, <laughs> and, and 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 if you can do anything else. 
Do it. You will. God, do it. Yeah, and, and, I know. But the point is, you will. Yeah. Like, yeah. If, you, if you're able to jump ship, <sighs> nah. you will. Now, I just didn't have a parachute. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. So I stayed in that thing and I Figured rode it, it all the way to the ground. Yeah. Oh, I love it. But, but I was, so I'm tenacious because mm -hmm. I'm not good at anything else. Got it. I, anything I am good at that's mm -hmm. not music, I learned from music. So it's like oh, I got yeah. from it, you know, like the my, business you know. side of Yeah. But the point is, Great. like, I've got friends who are insanely talented, mm -hmm. but they just wound up doing other things mm -hmm. because they could. <sighs> and I have not been able to, so I've stuck with it. So yes, that's why dude. I've had like this 20, almost five year career as a blue collar musician. Yep. 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 Because what else would I do? Do you know about lems? Lems are cool. Um, it's, they're the only shoes I have. Um, I think I got a pair of, uh, well, it doesn't even matter because these things are rugged, man. These are the leather, um, freaking, uh, mid boulder boot. They're pretty badass. Um, sometimes I walk around with my shoes untied. Might bust my ass though, but I haven't in a while. Anyway, lems, shoes, rules, get some. You know what I mean? Is there so anything that you, that you thought you wanted to do when you were younger? Like, like you were like, oh, nope. Sick. Yeah, same. <laughs> Fuck. I want to be a radio fucking DJ. That's, That's it. Cool. That's all I can conjure from, yeah. my, from my child. Well, but I you know what's that. interesting about that? Mm -hmm. So if you don't mind, mm -hmm. um, a little conjecture. Yeah. So what yeah, a yeah. radio DJ does uh -huh. is it, is it, uh, a radio DJ is a, in its purest form, I'm being idealistic here. Yeah, it's fine. Is a curator. Yeah. Yeah. You take yeah. other people's work and you curate them, you curate that into something meaningful. Yep. From a from a broader perspective, mm -hmm. and so you're putting pieces together, you're putting songs together in some sequence, and you're making something out of it. And are you not taking all these individual mm. colors mm. and putting them together mm. in mm -hmm. a way mm -hmm. to make you're curating colors in a yeah. way to make something oh, unique that's and beautiful. meaningful? Yes. So yes. you're DJing yes. this painting. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, like, you, you, I'm you, so so into that. Yeah, you yes. know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Like, yes. so you're doing precisely. I mean, you're a curator. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, that's what you do. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you know, you, you come in. So th these are your airwaves. Mm -hmm. These are these are the songs, <laughs> and you're. You're curating yes. something mean, you know, something meaningful out of. Like you didn't invent these colors. What didn't invent them? You did not invent oh, oh, the right. colors. Oh, right. Yes, yes. I mean, yes. you know, the the, the same totally. colors are kind of available to all of us. Yep, yep. Some people can curate Straight them up. in a way to make something interesting or resonant or meaningful, mm -hmm. and some people don't really know what to do with them. Straight up. For instance, I don't really know what to do with colors, <laughs> but you mm -hmm. clearly do. But the thing is, and so you're so you're DJing, you know. Now, but I do that in a different way. So did I invent? the instruments that I play mm -hmm. on, that I invent mm -hmm. these chord progressions and these melodies and these, no, right. I, I didn't. And there's, and there's no new melody and there hasn't been for maybe ever. Right. Um, because every artist is just doing their best to hide their own, their influences. God, like, yes. you know, like the Beatles wanted to be Chuck Berry. I mean, you know, ah. I mean, everybody wanted to be somebody mm -hmm. and you trying to be your heroes, uh, combined with how your combined with your ability to hide your heroes oh, in wow. your work oh. is your art and that's your like identity magic. artistically yeah yeah and it's, you know so mm -hmm. but so that's what but that's the point is that's what you're that's what you're doing yeah yeah you yeah know? i can I see that for my, sure my tools mm -hmm. my elements you didn't invent yours but this is unique yeah totally and you curated this and it will never exist in a in a in another way no. In a few, same, 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 same. Regardless but, and, and, of what you think the skill right. level is. Now, now isn't you know? it fascinating? So now yep. I want you to uh, to analyze me for a minute. Yeah, bring it on. Oh, isn't okay. It, isn't it fascinating that I left no surface uncovered? Uh, no. <laughs> really? Hang on, because I because I, I thought it's fascinating that my first instinct cover was it all. I got to cover this. Okay, thing. cool, cool, cool. That's beautiful. I think what's fascinating to me is that you you started something that has. Um, uh, 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 that, that has like a um, a natural quality to it, like you would see it somewhere in nature, like the beginning, yeah. the beginning parts of this, and then you put something structural on it, right? Like form like on it, yeah. So that so that's really cool, like that rationality. Thing. Yeah, it like it it almost is the overlay to the instinctual part. Yeah, and, and it's cool that you have both, dude. Like, yeah. That is cool. Well, Very cool. Apparently, to mm -hmm. limited measure when it comes to painting. That's cool, though. You know, uh, no, but, like like the the, the, the shapes are there. It's but, real but, cool. but it's true. Like in my yep. personality, I feel yeah. like I've managed to. I've got just enough creative talent. Yep. And I'm a good enough problem solver. Mm -hmm. I run a lemonade stand. Where? Like no, I mean that's my oh. career. 
I mean, that, 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 that is... I was like, this is, gets better. Yeah, like, that, that, that is the metaphor for my career. Yeah. I take a little bit, mm -hmm. and typically something sour and not that great, mm -hmm. and I turn it, I, I'm able to make something out of yes. it. Yes, yes. Um, you know, like I make lemonade, that's what I do. Yeah, I love um, it, man. You know, it's mostly uh, the result of failure and sure. misdirection, but I make stuff out of yeah. it. And enough people, you know, fail in the same ways that yes. I do, that apparently I've got enough people to make a living out of it or whatever. But uh, it's, it's so it. interesting. I Dude, mean, it's... it's the metaphors you come up with and the analogies are killer, man. Well, it's just a different way to think about it. You know, I love it. I really appreciate it. I am it. a writer after all. Yeah, dude. Uh, what are you working on now? What do you got? I, so I spend most of my time, what I've learned also in my uh, creative adulthood mm -hmm. is that the people who resonate the most deeply are the ones who deserve the most of my attention. Cool. And hmm. so I have leaned into f being able to make a place for the people who resonate the most deeply and care the most about what I'm doing. And so I've kind of gotten into, so I've got a very small group of, a mm -hmm. uh, very small community of folks. And, it's, it's, and I do this on Patreon. And, yep. and there okay. are different ways to do this. Got it. But it's such a great, it's more like the, the patronage model uh -huh. is my favorite model for uh, meaningful support of creativity. Cool. Um, oh, th this whole good. like really art good. as a commodity thing is a very recent invention, yep. just in the last mm -hmm. hundred years maybe, mm -hmm. uh, several hundred years. But like um, uh, art as patron, uh, the, the patronage model, mm -hmm. I like so much more. And I think way better art comes of it. Oh. And so I have been for some few years now mm -hmm. trying to create this space where I make a ton mm -hmm. of stuff for a small group of people. And I'm still making some stuff for everybody. Sure. Um, but I spend most of my time every day doing a bunch of cool shit for my patrons. Cool, man. Delighting and surprising them. Now that said, um, awesome. I am about to start working on a new record. Cool. Um, and, and that's just the cycle you're in. You know how it is. Yeah, you've, you, you, sure. you've done it too. Mm -hmm. But it's like the, the 18 to 24 month cycle that you're always in. Mm -hmm. But like I'm, I'm kind of mm -hmm. feeling mm -hmm. there's that bottleneck and there's that energy building up. I can feel it. Yeah, totally do. And I know that, and that's, ah, how, that's, I, awesome. that's how I do stuff. It's yep. like, I don't write at all in the off season mm -hmm. and it all kind of backs up and then I go hard at a yep. new concept project statement. Um, so oh, I'm about cool. to start a new record now. Cool. And then that, um, that comes from a, the feeling that the record needs to be started now. Yes. I love that. It I just kind that. of, I love that. Yep. You know how it is like, it like just you, gnaws at you. A little it bit. does. Yeah. And it just kind of bottlenecks. Yep. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, and, I, and again, like I've probably not ever written a song I've not recorded. I'm not one of those guys who, that has I've just never written a song. Okay, I see. I, I, have, I, I use every part of the buffalo. Like awesome. I, I have, I, I don't, I don't have some wow. archive of riffs or of whatever. B sides yeah. of unreleased material. I don't That's write awesome. that much. Sure. And so everything I write, I will write in a handful of months, yep. every two years. For and, something. And that all belongs together, and that's a project. And then I will not write one song, not a line, for two years maybe. No shit. And then I write 12 more, and that's another record. I've been doing it that way for 20 years. No shit. It's a, it's a process I trust now. Cool. And so I'm like on the brink of a new batch. Oh, excellent, out. dude. And so this year, I'll, uh, cool. I'm about to start working on a new Cool. Do you, do you record them yourself? Do you work with somebody? I do. Yeah, I'm awesome. mostly, awesome. and that's been part of the adaptation of learning yep. how to be a blue collar creative and mm -hmm. make a living at it mm -hmm. is neutralizing all your costs. I never imagined being an engineer totally. and being a producer and right. being a, but mm. I have evolved into one. Cool. And so yeah. I've got, I make, I'm like a mad scientist. Yep. Headphones, home studio, I, I'll play almost all the instruments. Awesome, man. Um, but I pull friends in too. Yep. My, my last record was a full band thing, a record called Targets, and mm -hmm. it was like a, but that's the energy it needed. Everything serves mm -hmm. the songs. It needed to be a collaborative effort with energy with people in a room live. Yep. But I only do that about it once every 10 years. And cool, So man. I mostly get alone yeah. in a space and then don't know what I've made and then everybody tells me. That's great, it. dude, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so. Uh, That's beautiful, yeah. man. Do you do, you mm -hmm. do big, um, mm -hmm. uh, as, a, as a painter and as a visual creative, mm -hmm. do you do um, big series of things that all go together? Does it all come into longer term individual projects? Or mm -hmm. like how do you approach seasons of creativity? Sure. Do, do you make things mm -hmm. that belong together and that are one big statement? Sometimes. Like songs on an album, or is it you spend a lot longer crafting one thing? Yeah, how do you do that? I, you know, I, I um, it seems like I, I I used to have these 
birthing sessions of paintings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still do some, yeah. but I'm always, I, I, I try to do something every day. Like, I don't give yes. a shit what it is, you yeah. know, like, and I fail on that on that sometimes, but. Well, you, you make rules for yourself so that you can break. Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I, and Harrison was on his way, and, mm. and it was a lot of just prepping for that. I was still making stuff, but um, I go into hibernation mode. I go into the proverbial shadow. Like I'm like, when I'm making my, I, I, I paint from feeling. When you're conceptualizing or when you're uh, actually both, creating? Both. Yeah. yeah, the creating's, I don't want to, I want to, the word that comes up is worse because I, I, mm. I paint from feeling. Like I, I'm not, I'm not, yes. you know, and like. It has to burn up to the top. Oh, too. Good or bad, it's yes, you gotta dude. tap into yes. it to get it And out. you know when you're fucking in it, you know, yes. or, or yeah. I, I do yeah. for me. but. Um, I've asked a lot of my artist friends, like, do you ever weep while you paint? And a lot of them just say no. And I'm like, what, what, what wow. the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm on my knees. And it, it's not wow. like a virtue thing. It's like, well, maybe a little, but it's like, it makes me know that I'm so fucking connected to my shit in the way that I connect to things. Wow. So to answer your question, I will, I, I'll paint some stuff and I'll be like, oh, okay, exercising, exercising. But when I, when I, am in something to the point of where I am entranced in what I'm doing, Time, timelessness happens, mm. and I'm riffing on this thing, tears are happening, wow. I'm seeing different parts of my life show up in my painting and just being happy that I can even do this, I get four or five. Wow. Whereas in the beginning, when I wasn't, I, I was on my way to getting to this point, and hopefully I'll go deeper, it was like eight, 10, 12, like just, oh, this cool, this looks cool, but that was for the time. But wow. when I spend more time with it and dig and feel more, less happens. And maybe so. you feel like you can tap into mm -hmm. and pull more out now than you could. Oh, then. yes. And it, which yes. is to say, maybe the volume was the same, mm -hmm. but you were breaking into smaller, that I could, shallower yeah. pieces. Yes. And now you're doing it in fewer, deeper pieces. Yeah. And, they're, and, they, and they go for more. They sell for more. They're more valuable. And because they have so much more weight to them for Absolutely. me. And I set that, you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? So that's how I feel yeah, about it. What's interesting to me about it mm -hmm. is I've always felt, and I'm, I'm curious if this mm -hmm. resonates with you too, mm -hmm. but I've always felt like as a creative, it's like there's only kind of so much that I can really actively bring, intentionally bring to it. Yes, dude. And for me, that's, that's mostly the preparation. Oh. So I prepare for the lightning to strike. I, 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 I wow. and, and I'm, and I'm, and I realize the importance of those moments and I, and I stop and I get as much as I can okay. when it happens. But like, I kind of can't really sit and make something good. I, I have a hard time when it comes to writing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I can't really, and I kind of stopped, I got out of the rhythm of even trying cause I realized it just doesn't really happen. Got it. I, and so I, so what I do is I wait yep. and I prepare and I prepare to get more out when it shows up, I get oh. more. So, I, so it's better preparation. Do you prepare by restraining or just waiting? I think so. Waiting. Uh, I think so. I, okay. th I think I both, I both wait and restrain. Beautiful, beautiful. But, but I also like, for instance, so over the years I've gotten better at like, okay, I know that like if something hits me and I'm driving, I pull that fucking car That's over. cool. But I, I didn't used that. to. I cool. like, ah, nah, 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 and yep. I'll remember it, whatever. Yes. But now I'm like, oh my God, it's, it, it, this is when it's happening. Yes. It, it's, it's a thing, ironically, yes. back to my kind of uncertainty about cool. invisible and unknowable yeah, yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't predict it. I don't understand it. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it happens sometimes, and I can't make it happen when I want it to. Oh, I know that. Yes. So all I can do is be like, okay, okay, here, I know what to do. I know yep. what to do. It's yep. like having your, having your to-go bag. It's like being ready for the baby. Yes, it's yeah. like It's like, okay, I'm, I'm, all you can do is prepare for the moment when yeah. it comes. It's like you're documenting. But, you, it's, wow. but it's not a thing you can really, you know, it has its own will, and, yep. it, and it has its own energy and its own timing. And so all I can do oh. is be ready, with, you know, to go. Yeah. And so when it happens... I'm I get more than I used to in those moments because I treasure them more and I yes. realize the significance of them totally. more. Um, but wow. I don't feel like I really, and it's almost like, you know, like, um, mm -hmm. I remember like uh, when I was a kid mm -hmm. and you know, you have your first or second or third kiss mm -hmm. and those early romantic experiences. And when you think back, you can't remember what it felt like. Yeah. You can't remember, yeah. Yeah. You, you have them, you know what happened, but like, I can't, what did that feel like? I can't. Wow, yeah. I only know when it's happening. Yeah. When it's not, I have this weird abstract memory, but I don't know what it even felt like. Beautiful. Because you're kind of so immediately in that moment yeah. that you're not almost even imprinting 
visceral memories of it. You just kind of remember something of, Beautiful. about it, but you come out and it's like it just kind of stayed back there. Yeah. You know what happened, but you can't really remember it exactly. Yeah, totally. And, it's like a dream. And that's kind of how creativity has become for me, is like, Beautiful. I don't really remember writing those songs. And I don't, I don't have any clue what it must have felt like to write some of those lines. And when people will ask you, I'm sure, about your paintings, like, mm -hmm. what were you feeling? Maybe you do know because you're so connected to a it. A million things. But yeah. I'm like, I have no idea. Yeah. It's, it's awesome, like when you ask Paul dude. Simon, like, what did he have for breakfast on the day he wrote Bridge Over Troll of Water? He's like, I don't have any idea, but it's like, I can't put myself back there. I can't remember what it must have felt like. Yeah. And I, and, and, and therefore, I can't even attempt to recreate it. Yes. It's just what happened in that moment. Oh, yeah. And I managed to somehow get out of my way. And my problem has been because I'm so analytical, rational detail, yep. I'm, I, I, try, I, I need to not analyze in the moment to try and figure out what I'm doing to, to manipulate mm, the layer. Totally beautiful. It's like, yes. try, trying to, it's like trying to, uh, ha, uh, to store mana. It's like you can't do it. It's yeah. given to you every day yep. and then it's bad, Goes bad and you have to trust it to show up the next day. And I finally, ironically here, post evangelical Christian. Some things are so true in that sense, for sure. The manna yeah. that comes into my yes. life is more visceral and I'm more dependent on it than I ever really was. Or maybe I'm just, oh, that's the meaning it. I'm assigning to oh, it now. But it's so and it was always beautiful. there. Yeah. And so I own that, I own my side oh, of the street. Oh, beautiful, there. dude. Anyway, so it's interesting. It's wow. Interesting. I didn't even thought of it that, that way. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't know about manna. Right. Like, I didn't know that it went bad because I wasn't fucking paying attention in church. Right. I was trying to, like, do whatever the fuck else I was trying yeah. to do. But hearing that again is like, it, it's, it's just the, the idea. The, the sustenance of, yeah. that is provided, you know? It's a thing that you have immediate access to yes. in real time. Yes. And that you can, you seize it. Yes. And then when it's gone, it's gone. Then it's gone. That, that beautiful, angelic, gem-like version of that piece of mana is gone. Another one it's will gone. come. Oh, and you can trust right. that it will. Yes, yes. It won't be that again. Right, And right. like, and, oh. and, I, and I have mostly, not to talk all day about no, I this, love but it. I, I have, it. I, where I've mostly found opportunities to identify and trust it right. is when I'm making things with friends yep. or I'm doing something that's not for like a big record that I'm yep. making. That I'm, I'm working on something not a lot of people are gonna hear mm -hmm. and, and you mm. get this great, idea and you get this great and you're like I used to be like oh man that's so good mm -hmm. I'm gonna put that ah, like, totally. like when you're co-writing wow, or something yeah, that's, like, Ooh, that's such a good line I'm gonna say, say that, that for me myself, um, but, but here's, here's what I've realized over time yeah is not to do that ah. to spend all of what you get in every moment you're in and trust there's more coming yeah it's, it's, it's really what it is it's abundance versus scarcity yeah dude that's great it's like this isn't scarce this isn't scarce like this is abundant yeah. so I can use all of it bring the best I've got to every real-time moment and then just trust that more is coming. Wow. Because if I try to go back to it, yeah. it's not going to be what it was in that moment. For it's sure. It's not going to be like, oh my God, that's so good. Mm -hmm. I go back to it, I'm like, that's yeah, not that good. Right, right. right. I should have used it in that moment. Because totally. in that moment, I thought it was really good. Damn. And that might have propelled us on into some other transcendent moment or, or great mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And so I've just learned to like spin everything you get. That's great. All the time. Oh, that's good. And run out. Yeah, dude. Because it's know? coming again. Because it's always oh, coming again. That. Again. And man, it's been second half of life. Beautiful. Abundance mindset yeah, has been totally, second half of life totally. stuff for me. Yeah. And I'm grateful for it. Dude. You know. Dude. Dude. Thank ah, you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank Thanks you Thanks for much. like letting me come Beautiful. do this thing. Absolutely. Uh, I really appreciate ah. it. I had a great time. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, me too. Oh, dang, man. Beautiful. Look what you Thanks. did. I, would just I like it. I like the weight at the bottom. It feels like it's supporting it and holding cool. it up. Good. Oh, that's good to see. That's yeah, I dig it. Thank you. I'm going to do this. Hey, this is has been Make It Perfect and will be Make It Perfect. I'm Ryan Rado. This is Derek Webb. Thank you for watching our show and engaging and uh, making whatever you do, even if you don't make anything or think you don't make anything, you're making something. I want to thank Luke Yates for being a trooping champion, T-R-O-O-P-I-N-G. Um, if you want to email us, you can. Um, MakeItPerfectShow at gmail.com. The uh, Instagram is Make It Perfect Show. And um, that's it. Derek, can you tell people where to find you? Yeah, uh, Derek Webb mm -hmm. everywhere. Cool, you yes. know, like yeah, yeah, D-E-R-E-K-W-E-B-B. Yep, yep. Uh, Yeah, wherever you go looking, and I'm grateful to be found. Cool. So, dude, oh, thank great. you. Dude, thanks, Beautiful. Dude. Hell yeah. So appreciate what you're doing Amen, here. Amen, dude. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, see ya. Cool. Dude, that was right.